welcome back to Eyes Open Media. So I am back. I told you guys this morning we would come back to see the results of what happened in Parliament today in Iraq. And of course, the earlier video I did earlier today, uh, it was a chaotic scene in Parliament as, you know, these people can't get it together. They want the corrupt in. Others are fighting for corrupt to be out and just technocrats. It's a battle going on in there, and uh, it is what it is. So it says here, urgent um, postponement of the parliament session for half an hour. Uh, okay, and the speaker goes to uh, Abdul Mahdi for deliberation. Okay, and then so then they came back, and they could, still couldn't figure it out, right? So it says urgent Abdul Mahdi, and the eight ministers are leaving the parliament building. Okay, so he did come in there with eight ministers to complete his cabinet today. And uh, many people thought that he was only going to come in with six and leave the uh, defense and interior out. But I told you guys, he's going to come in there with his eight ministers. And I told you that he was going to get the six passed and then he was going to then surprise everybody with the two. And that looked like that was his plan, <laughs> okay? But he didn't. it didn't execute because they saw the six and the two, and they went completely nuts, so right? And, you know, they have good reason to because the defense minister or an interior minister are corrupt people, and they don't want them in there. Point blank and simple, and um, Sauter's camp with Alawi's and Hakim's camp and also uh, Abadi's camp, uh, they don't want the quota system they want it to be technocrats with uh, of people that are not corrupt and it's very important that that happens because they're opening up the green zone <laughs> okay so anybody that should know that is abdul mahdi because he's the one that's opening up the green zone right and uh the the uh the guy that maliki wants in at the interior minister he is corrupt and so you're putting everybody's lives in danger when you have that kind of corrupt guy in interior defense and the citizens know he's corrupt. So now they're going to go after him and Mahdi. And then, but if Mahdi doesn't put him in, Iran is threatening to kill Mahdi. So Mahdi's in a bad situation right now. Okay. So, um, but you know, I, I always, I would always cause and pause and think what is the right thing to do for my country and my people forget everybody else okay forget everybody else what is the right thing to do for my country and my people either put these two people in there that don't know the, the, the how to do the job of interior and defense you're just putting them in because the the nine people who rule parliament are telling you to put them in right uh and and and, and continue a quota uh government okay or do i do right by my people and my country and put in the technocrats that actually know how to do those two positions and complete my cabinet with full technocratic people and this would be the break in the system because that will be the first time since pre-war that they've had full technocratic people in those positions okay it's been a long time since they've had technocrats in those positions so that would be a break in the system and this is why they are fighting tooth and nail like their lives are on the line uh to make sure Mahdi does not make his government uh, his cabinet fully technocrats okay uh for those that are new that are listening i know you guys have heard this over and over again the last couple of days here um okay so it says here uh the agreement to postpone the parliament session to thursday so now tomorrow is a day of mourning for uh george bush senior um you know not just in america but it's going to be a lot of other places around the world especially europe and others are going to honor him tomorrow around the world uh in a, in a day of mourning for george bush senior okay i have a um I have a video to, uh, is, that, is it tomorrow? Yeah, it's going to be for tomorrow. I have a video tomorrow that, um, that uh, from a prophet that is going to talk about that, his prophetic dream or his for prophetic, um, you know, word on, on Bush and how, and he, he talked to his, you know, followers about Bush and uh, God gave him the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the prophetic word on George Bush. And then God also told him, uh, if, if George Bush made it to heaven or not. So 
wait for that tomorrow. It's going to be out tomorrow, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, so let's move on here, and uh, the House of Representatives uh, raises its meeting to next Thursday. We know that. And for you guys that are new, next Thursday is this Thursday. Uh, if if they're look if you're if you want to know about the next the Thursday after, they, it would be uh, me, uh, raises its meeting to uh, next Thursday after. Okay, or or yeah, something like that. It will be something. It will be something like that. Um, or Thursday next after. The, you know, it's weird, but that's how they do it. Okay, so next Thursday means this Thursday. Next Thursday after means the next next Thursday, next week's Thursday. Okay, that's just how they do it in their in their country. Okay, um, and then here is Abdul Mahdi, uh, Prime Minister of Iraq, reveals what happened in Parliament session. Uh, you don't have to tell us what happened. We saw it in the video. <laughs> oh, thank God for social media. Uh, we can get those types of videos quickly and upload them up quickly, can we? Um, so that these people can tell us, say something different. But anyways, um, that's why ca cameras and stuff and phones should be banned from Parliament, by the way. Uh, it just should, but it, it is what it is. <laughs> um, unless you're like a, a news agency or something. Um, anyways, let's see here. Uh, Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi on Tuesday revealed the reality of what happened in the uh, Parliament session. Okay, and it's talking about the the uh, state of chaos in the House and blah 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 blah. Now remember, it wouldn't be chaos if he if he just doesn't bring. Well, actually, it would still be chaos because Maliki and his goons, who shouldn't even be in Parliament by the way, because they hold no positions. OK, um, they would go crazy if he didn't bring those two people for interior and defense. And uh, the majority, uh, the people that want all technocrats, um, you know, they would uh, go crazy if he did bring uh, those two people uh, for interior and defense like they did today. Right. He brings those two people knowing that no that the majority is not going to pass them and all craziness goes on. And he knew that. But he also knew that if he didn't bring those two, then the other side, the people who run parliament are going to go absolutely nuts. OK, and so he, he's 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 in a loss either way. But he he needs to make the decision. Uh, is he for his country or he isn't? OK, he knows uh, a, a, a full cabinet of technocrats is what's best for Iraq and their citizens. And, and so if he doesn't do that, then he, we know what side he's on. So we're going to find out in December what side Abdul Mahdi is on. OK, so I, the whole world is going to find out because if he puts those two people in and, 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 and creates a quota government again in a quota uh, cabinet, then we know what side he's on. He has picked Iran. He has picked the, uh, you know, the side of the cabal. If he puts the um, technocrats in and, and outs those two people, and, and uh, then he has picked the side of Iraq and the side of the new elites, okay? Um, so we'll see how it plays out. And we're gonna he's going to make the decision here very soon. <laughs> it could be Thursday, you know? I mean, uh, it's going to be, it has to be before the start of the new year. I mean, can you imagine uh, uh, this not, this dragging out to the next year? Uh, they might They might remove him as prime minister. <laughs> OK, and bring somebody else in. Um, so we'll see how it plays out or something else could happen if he still struggles. I just thought about this right now because I did do a video. Uh, was it last year or the year before about an event? Remember that? And I was talking about this event that was supposed to take place. It never took place. OK, so could that event come back up at this time? And it would be the right time for the event. OK, so I was talking about this event years ago or a year ago or two years ago. I can't remember now, but I was telling you guys on this channel and the back and uh, the main channel, Currency 365, um, that uh, there's going to be an that there could be an event that takes place uh, that literally breaks the system. Right. That that really it really uh, neuters 
the evil and corrupt in, in Iraq. And that event might need to happen because Abdul Mahdi is in a bad situation right, right now. Okay. Um, and so that event could still happen. And, and who would be responsible for that event? It would be Donald Trump in America. So I'm just going to say that. Okay. They're watching what's going on. And if they step in and, and do this event, then it, it would be awesome for us. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else because then I'm putting my life on the line and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see here. The government is serious about taking measures against corruption, and we have 13,000 corruption files open in the integrity uh, commissions. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So let's keep it moving. What's next? Um, Okay, Parliament refuses to reduce the uh, price of the barrel of oil in the budget. Okay, and that's be maybe because they believe that oil is going to continue to go up since Qatar is, uh, you know, leaving OPEC and Russia has decided to cut back on oil production and things like that. Iran's under sanctions, so oil should start to head back up because of all of that. So, eh, we'll see. I think they, I'm not sure what price they have it at. Uh, it says state budget is is at, is to uh, fifty dollars instead of fifty six. Oh, they have it at fifty six right now. Okay, so they're in a loss right now, right? Because I think the oil is at fifty three, unless they're going off of Brent, right? I think I'm not sure what Brent what what our prices Brent oil is in the Middle East. So I don't know. Maybe like fifty seven, fifty eight, maybe I don't know. Uh, Parliament refuses to reduce the. Okay, we already talked about that. Okay, cabinet suspends. Whoa, wait a minute. Cabinet suspends till next Monday. Wait a minute. What happened to Thursday? <laughs> um, let's see. Here. Okay, maybe cabinet is different than parliament, right? So maybe, I've, okay, so maybe it says the council of ministers to disrupt the official time for next Monday. Oh. Okay, so let me see what it is. Uh, destruction of the official working day on mo of Monday, the 10th of December, the first anniversary of the declaration of victory over the gangs of terrorists. Okay, so they're having, so, okay, so never mind. Monday, uh, Monday is the uh, a holiday. So they're making Monday a holiday. Every, it seems like they have 900 holidays in a year. And there's only 365 days in a year. They literally have 280 day holidays in <laughs> Okay, and, and uh, it's crazy. So this is cabinet. Cabinet is going to uh, take Monday off. Okay, Parliament still meeting on Thursday. So we'll see what happens on Thursday. Um, it says the council minister is directed uh, to disrupt. The, okay, we already talked about that. All right, so let's move on here. It says Sauter warns Abdul Mahdi of this step. Okay, now we know what it is already. We talked about this over and over again. Okay. He says here that there are some hands have come together again to bring Iraq back to its past. Okay, so there you go. So he says he's calling the prime minister to form a government of technocrats in Iraq. What will that be? That would be the break in the system, guys and girls, that we're looking for for the dinar. I know there's tons of breaks in the system, China and all these other stuff. There's a lot of break in the system. Look at Europe and, you know, Europe and, you know, you know, God told Benny that he's, you know, watch Europe and watch and I'm going to shake Europe. I'm going to shake the Middle East. OK, so when Europe has a big decision coming up on the 11th, they have uh, uh, the uh, Brexit in, in the uh, House of Commons. And so they're going to vote on that and then all this other stuff going on and then iraq is battling in parliament uh on the on to for evil and good right now so and Sauter says look we must have a full cabinet of technocrats for the first time in a long time okay and so um and he's also giving them six six months to a year uh i mean see yeah, six months to a year to see how successful he is in that and I already told you yesterday, if he just, if he gets the full government of technocrats and raises the value and gives the oil revenues, he's going to be, fan, it's going to be fantastic for him. 
And he also has to quickly arrest those people that are evil, okay? Uh, all the corrupt need to go immediately. And many of them are going to run to I Iran. This is why we believe that Iran, they will come back with Iranian armies in, you know, in a short period of time. And they will invade Iraq in the future because of this. Okay, um, so we just have to continue to watch and see. Okay, so here's the evil man himself, Maliki, says the House of Representatives today in front of a real test. <laughs> okay. This guy has no position in Parliament, by the way. He has no position. He, he's, he's nobody. He's not a vice president. He's, he's nothing. He, he has no position in Parliament. All he is is the head of the coalition of state law. That's it. That's all he is. He's the head of the coalition, meaning a group, a gang. Right, like, like it's like me being at like the uh, the head of a blood, the bloods. Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to be in Congress? Like the head of the bloods are not allowed in Congress, okay? But this guy is allowed in there, right? So he's the head of a coalition. Who gives a crap, right? And so he has no position in Parliament, and he's allowed in. Um, you know, because he. I mean, look, he's a look. I'm not saying that he's not allowed allowed to be in there, but. To be in there to pass laws and do all that? No. Like, Jimmy Carter's allowed in, you know, Parliament and Congress and stuff. Well, you know, I mean, all the ex-presidents are allowed in because they they used to be presidents. They're, you know, they're honorary guests. We get that part. But you, do you are you going to see Barack Obama or Jimmy Carter or all these people in there fighting and battling about who's going to be the next cabinet members? <laughs> like, this is ridiculous, right? They, they don't do that. But Maliki's in there. You know, Maliki's in there battling. He's throwing shoes and all types of stuff because he doesn't want the technocrats in there, okay? Because he's done if the technocrats are in there. He's already done now. He doesn't have a position. And he's definitely done if the technocrats get in there, okay? And so I believe that if that happens, he is going to run to Iran and he'll be the one coming back. This is why I kept saying back when I was doing current uh, Iraq videos in Currency 365, we need to see that event because if that event doesn't happen and this all takes place, Maliki will return with Iranian, with a Mary and a massive amount of troops to invade Iran. I, th I still think that's going to happen regardless. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, Maliki's talking about chaos. They're gonna, there's going to be chaos and it'll be a real test either to vote or to go into chaos. Yeah, and, and who's creating that chaos is Maliki and his goons who run parliament. So it's a complete joke that he even has something to say. Uh, he's the one running parliament. A lot of you guys on, you know, that were part of 365 uh, when we were doing those videos, you guys said it yourselves. I, you know, that our body's not running anything. Maliki's behind the scenes there running everything. And so you guys were right, man. You guys were right. A body said it the other day. So you can't say you, you guys weren't wrong. Okay. So, um, you guys were right. And, uh, you know, only a few of you guys said that. I'm not saying all you guys said that. <laughs> uh, I think a few of you guys said Maliki's behind the scenes pulling the strings on anything, on everything. And that's why we're not going to see anything. And that's what, that's what she, and that's what happened. Okay. And the body made it clear. Now, a body didn't have to do that. So he did. He made it clear that that's what's going on. There's nine people that run the entire parliament. Imagine that. Imagine being a man that wears a suit and you and you come into parliament and you're and you know that nine people run the entire country and you can't do nothing about it. I mean, my God. I mean, go. I mean, <laughs> you might as well chop your balls off, right? Like you, you're not a man at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you might as well go home. Okay. And that's what a lot of them did. A lot of them didn't even show up. Remember that? Remember they had this. Remember they they were fine. They had to find people because they wouldn't show up to parliament. And <laughs> remember that. That's how bad it got. It got so bad that these people wouldn't even show up to Parliament for a quorum. And so they started fining people when if they didn't show up. And they still didn't show up. <laughs> so they were being fined. They were being fined every day. And they wouldn't show up. They don't, I don't care. I make my money through the auctions, which are corrupt. And, and You know what I mean? So I make my money. So you find me. Let's say they find them. Let's say they find them $500 a day for not showing up. Well, I'm making thirty thousand dollars a day on the auctions you know like who cares and that's what happened okay so and then also we talked about uh demonstrating yesterday i talked about how the or was it yesterday or the day before i can't remember but i was talking about how the citizens do the citizens care remember and then i said usually when i make a video about that 
uh, a day or two or three uh, later, the citizens uh, start to protest. I don't know why that is. That's just been the form. And so we see this protesting going on now in Baghdad. Uh, but this is a different one. It's not really about reforms and stuff like that. It's about the um, United Nations staying out the way. They want the United Nations to stay out the way of their of the of the cabinet, um, you know, deal. They want them to stay out of uh, everything. Basically, they want the United Nations to stay out the way. They want Iraq to stay sovereign. Uh, they're they're protesting for a sovereign Iraq. And, uh, and it says demands of the religious, uh, supreme religious authority during the recent meeting with the uh, United Nations. Um, so, yeah, so they that's what they're really protesting about. They, they're in support of the religious author, uh, authority and I, Iraq as a sovereign country. So that's what they're protesting. They're not protesting, protesting that they're poor. They're not protesting that they don't have any money. They're not protesting that they don't have any food or anything like that. They're protesting that Iraq is a sovereign country and let us deal with cabinet and, and our ministers and, 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 and let Abdul Mahdi pick his government without interference. That's what they're doing. So it is what it is. But they, hey, I said it the other day and they have started the protest about that. So it is what it is. You know, it's their life, not ours. So, anyways, um, we'll we'll just continue to watch. We'll see what happens on Thursday. Thursday might lead to Saturday. Saturday might lead to whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but at some point, he's got to he's got to announce his full government uh, before the end of the year. Okay, he cannot go into next year without a, without his full government or a full cabinet, right? So, um, if something doesn't happen this week, I'm guaranteeing you're gonna hear a loud noises of get them out of there okay so that's going to come up and we've already heard several people say if he doesn't if he doesn't sit sit his cabinet this week it's going to be loud rumbles of get him out of there right and uh a body doesn't want the position so it would be have to be somebody else okay um so if that happens i, I want to see the event I, I want to see Donald Trump. I know Donald Trump's watching this with a crystal. You know, he's watching this crystal clear. So uh, Mad, Mad Dog Mattis is watching the scene there. The United Nations is watching. If they have to do something, then we're going to see the event, in my opinion. Okay? So, and if we see that event, <laughs> it's a wrap. Okay? I'm going to be smiling, and I'm going to be happy, because I know now it's a wrap. Okay? Corrupt is going to be neutered. All right, so that's it. Take, take care, guys. Eyes open, and I'm going to rest my voice because we have another big day tomorrow uh, as the world is going to mourn uh, George Bush Sr.'s death. So I will be putting out the uh, the video that one of the uh, prophets did about that. So get ready for that in the morning. All right, peace out. God bless, and eyes open. And Benny did make it to... Um, where did he go? He went back to his old country. He hasn't been in like 30, I think he said like 25 to 30 years. He ain't been back home. He went back home, basically. I think it's El Salvador or something like that. So Benny's back home for the first time in like 25 years. So hopefully he's safe out there. And uh, if he if he gets some internet connections, he'll probably do a live stream or not, no, not a live stream, but an audio. Um, and uh, I think tomorrow he was supposed to do uh, his uh, live stream tomorrow. So if Benny does live stream tomorrow, I will post it um, maybe tomorrow night or it will be the next following day. But Benny will, is supposed to do something on December 5th. All right. So let's see what happens. Peace out. Eyes open. Bye.